We're here at the Gilbert Center at the Johnson Space Center with a whole bunch of students from Texas who are participating in the Zero Robotics Experiment today. I'm joined by Ben Morrell, who's the lead mentor for the Texas students here, and also a couple of our lucky kids who have their stuff flying on Space Station right now. Now, Ben, I want to start off with you. Just give us a little bit of background about the Zero Robotics program. What is it we're watching here? So, Zero Robotics started in 2009 where uh, astronaut Greg Chamatoff was working with the Spheres robots. He recognized that they're quite a robust platform that was really had a lot of potential to be used for, for, for kids programming. And from that, and working with MIT, they started up this Zero Robotics program where high school kids and middle school kids can program these robots, controlling them to autonomously move around and carry out some kind of task. So for instance, the game this year is taking photos of an asteroid. And they're competing against another team to try and get the most points, for instance, to take the most photos. And what they do is they compete against each other to get through competitions, and then they've got the finals brackets. And the finals, they actually get to run their code on the Spheres robots on the International Space Station, which is what we're here today to see. And it's just an amazing kind of thing for them to be able to do. Well, I mean, it's, it's very exciting anytime you get to see something these kids are working on in space. What have they had to do to get to this point? You know, what, what, is, what are these kids actually doing in their classrooms before they get here? So these kids have been in a five-week summer program, and so they started off learning the basics of how to code, how to program, and there's kind of like a graphical program interface to help learn how to do that. But at the same time, they're learning about maths, they're learning about science, physics, about space, about engineering, about what NASA's doing. And, I don't know, you guys are having a fun time as well? Oh, yeah. Having Absolutely. a good time, learning how to work as a team? Yeah, great. And so they developed code to compete against the state. So they had a Texas competition. These guys won the Texas competition. <laughs> then they collaborated, worked with the other state, the other teams in the state to develop their code to work on the what's going to be running at the moment on the International Space Station to compete against the other states in the nation. Okay, and one more thing for you, how important is it to you know, get kids involved at almost any age in these programming, science, math, things like that? I think it's incredibly important, right? For, for, for many reasons. One of the reasons is kind of to give you guys an idea of what you can do in engineering with programming with science. So you might be able to have an idea of what an engineer does, what a programmer does. We might have no idea at all, but doing this gives you a real idea. I can do some awesome stuff in space, in science, in engineering type things. Second thing is inspiration. To see that your guys' code is on the International Space Station, that's, that's really inspiring. You can do that. You can do anything. If you really want to do something, it kind of shows you there's some really cool stuff. And working with NASA, working in space, there's some fantastic opportunities that you guys can work on. Um, and the third thing is programming, and those STEM skills I think are really valuable yeah. in any field. So I think that's kind of something really important to, to get exposure to. Okay, well now I want to get to some of the stars of the hour here with our Texas teams. We have Stephen and Tristan. Guys, how cool is it to see something that you worked on in space right now? It, it's incredible. Yeah. It's like you would never think that like just this little thing you decide to do in summer can get it all the way up into the International Space Station. It doesn't seem real. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, is this something you guys are already thinking about working on? You want to be, are you our next astronauts or our engineers of the future? Mm, probably. Yeah, we were always kind of interested in science and programming, so this just seemed awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, best of luck to you guys. Best of luck to the Texas and all of the other teams competing today in the Spheres competition. We're real excited here at the Johnson Space Center, as are a lot of kids around the country, to watch how everything plays out.